It's subtle, but I see some differences in the halves of this pattern. Well, one is white, one is brown. <laughs> well, there's a hole there. What else? Hmm. There's a hole there. There's a hole in your face. There are many holes in my face. <gasps> oh no! <laughs> uh, Where? Uh, th that. Yeah. That? <laughs> yes. Cool. <laughs> that. That doesn't exist. That. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't exist. That doesn't exist. You don't exist. I always exist. <gasps> <laughs> I never stop. You can't stop me. That doesn't exist. You can't stop me. You can't stop me. Don't stop me. No! Can't stop me. Can't stop me. Can't stop me. Ooh! This doesn't exist. Wow! Yeah. Well, okay. <laughs> no one figured that out. Glad. Glad I did that then. I am so good at this. Langspiel. The Langspiel. No. <laughs> no! <laughs> We're not gonna learn about Skibrot. I like this music. Yes, it is good music. Story about me, <gasps> written by Sunny June. Cyborg. I haven't seen him Nancy. in a while. Nancy, you saw him like a few games ago. What are you talking mm -hmm. about? The factually true adventures of Sunny June and Cyborg Nancy. Also, it's not about you, Nancy, unless you're admitting to being a cyborg. So she hi. is meeting a cyborg. Uh, admitting meeting to a cyborg. <laughs> she is the cyborg. <laughs> Would you like to read it? Sure. I will start. <laughs> Upon landing on a foreign planet, spied members Sunny and Nancy search for a mysterious artifact amongst the territory of Sir Lan Laser, Laser Lot, Lot, the dictator Xenomorph, to make a bad situation worse. This planet has no atmosphere! Can aliens live on a planet with no atmosphere? Cite research. Unless research says they can't, then ignore research. That's accurate. Thankfully, Nancy is no longer confined to her mortal form. <laughs> she has transcended her humanity to become Cyborg Nancy. Insert picture below. <laughs> Cyborg Nancy lives only for truth and justice and does not tolerate dictatorial rule or require oxygen conveniently. She still doesn't believe anything Sunny says, though. It's true. <laughs> I'm sure there's a rational explanation for all of this. Nancy wow, that's the most accurate characterization yep. of Nancy I've ever seen. <laughs> yup. <laughs> Sunny knows everything. <laughs> Nancy, logic won't defend you from aliens. Sunny corrects. Sir Laserlot's den is a thousand miles away. No, wait, kilometers. Actual science people use kilometers. How many is that again? A lot. <laughs> Even with Sunny's super rad bounce shoes, it's going to take a while to reach that mountain top. Which is one word for some reason. Um, how dare you? <laughs> <laughs> Nancy and Sunny start a walk-in karaoke group to pass the time. I thought it was just Nancy and Sunny start a walk. -in. I know. <laughs> I was like, where is that going? Super <laughs> rad. <laughs> Who knew Nancy was a, such a K-pop fan? It's true. Three-time national champ. <laughs> <laughs> is there anything she can't find? Can she find what I can't? <laughs> the official definition of an alien is a space person. If people leave Earth, do they become aliens? If Nancy went to space, would she become an alien? Because she's not included in the people part of that previous statement. <laughs> she's a cyborg. Well then. Would she believe in aliens then? P.S. Food for thought. Making a note. Call Jamila. Ask her to make a note. P.P.S. Ooh hoo hoo P.P.S. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing in Iceland yet. What did the old man mean? Was he serious? PPBS. This postscript has crossed a line, but I can't stop now. PPPPS. Okay, I think we've come full circle here. 
After a short training montage, Nancy discovers her final dragon form, which is not a cyborg anymore, apparently, <laughs> but also is at the same time. <laughs> She's a dragon now. Yes. My power levels are beyond comprehension. Her bones are made of titanium. Titanium. 22. 47 <laughs> Specifically. Her beady, unblinking eyes are obsidian. This is like a love poem from Sunny to Nancy. <laughs> <laughs> but her heart is made of gold. Ned Nickerson move over. <laughs> <laughs> and therefore melts at whatever number that is. Read numbers, oh my goodness. It's well like... then, 1064 Celsius. There Note we go. to self, no Nancy on Venus. We're getting close now. Just gotta figure out an ending. I'm not worthless. I'm not worthless. It's all a lie, I tell myself. I can figure this out. <laughs> At last, our heroes arrive at the floating crystal palace of interplanetary legend. I'll write the final battle later. No time now. We won! We won! <laughs> but the artifact was destroyed. That's a little magnifying glass! <laughs> yes! She has powers beyond comprehension, but she still needs a magnifying glass. <laughs> that is accurate. <laughs> But the artifact was destroyed a hundred years ago. Our investigation was for naught. Nothing remains in Iceland. Gramps was wrong. I'm an idiot for coming all this way. That's not true. The two of us are still alive, and I'm still your friend. And also a cyborg dragon with a magnifying glass and Kugel Kringle bars. <laughs> Note, do I have friends? Leading experts say no. Double check. Aw, Sonny. I know, he's so depressed in the margins. In the <laughs> He's so inwardly and outwardly depressed. Yeah. Also, I just said outwardly. Outwardly? I, I don't know what that is. I don't think you know what that is either. I know exactly what that is. Okay. Oh. Gunner well didn't tell us anything. Yes. How do I use the boat? I have a space bubble. Um, you're violating it. You're the one steering at a pole for hours, okay? Nancy told me I wasn't allowed to do what I wanted to, so. Well then. Oh! Hello there. Is that Dad's Hi, luggage? Soren. Let us snoop. Let us snoop. Snoop. Do you have anything which might help with my investigation? Hmm. Hint, if hint. I'm not in town, I'm always locked up in here. I do okay. have some very nice pamphlets, though. The Ooh. Pamphlet Lover's Journal rated them a nine star out of ten. Why does everyone read <laughs> all these weird things? <laughs> Here's one for your troubles. Because Nancy always well, needs random to things to pamphlet. just have I'll in her see inventory. I can make use of this. I'm so glad he had this. Yes. Did you know? <laughs> I'm a fish. Orp, orp. That Thanks, is what Soren. fish sounds like. Orp, orp. Have you always lived here? Thank you. For, for 12 years. Demonstrating again. Now. <laughs> Two before University 10 after. That is baby fish. Others seem to think of you as an outsider. Gunner especially. Oh, for the love of... I was born 10 miles away. <laughs> And that means you don't live here? To him, yes. To everyone, yes. It's preposterous. In their minds, I'll never be from Skiprot because I wasn't born here. Upper secondary school was a nightmare with these people. <laughs> I may not know much Upper about second Skiprot, what? <laughs> there are lots of unpleasant people what, in my like line school? of work. Sometimes persistence helps. Oh, I've tried. I've bent over backwards to put on this festival for them, and yet no one invites me out. I'm not welcome at the pub. Spending my birthday alone is getting to be Aww. a real downer. Aww. Why is everyone depressed in this game? I know. <laughs> I Even the characters that aren't actually here are depressed. <laughs> it's more like Gunner dumping bad blood onto me. He dumped blood on you? Laughing. Bad I blood. I try to be patient, given his Is Taylor Swift around? History. But it's what a not. <laughs> that one. I can't Hygienic reason at all. with a man who only speaks fist. <laughs> Between That's you and accurate. me. He's never been the same since that terrible crash years ago. Ooh. Crash? Well, I don't know Gossip. that it's my place to speak <gasps> Ooh, let's talk about a terrible tragedy in Gunner's life. <laughs> now he stays locked up in that pub of his. It's not his pub, is it? No. I read this at first when I saw it as, did you lock Magnus in his cabin? And I was like, <laughs> wait, what? No. <laughs> no. Yes. No one should be going in there until the authorities search everything why not call the police there Believe are no me, police I want to <laughs> but i live life one step away from an angry mob on my doorstep why do you think i stay in the culture center 
If I stay behind these walls, no one can get to me. No one can vault over the, the <laughs> thing you're standing in front of. No one can open the door that's right next to you. I don't mind getting in trouble. What if I help you? I'll call them up myself. Nancy, please. If you were to do that, you'd be tarred and feathered faster than you can say, Hey, a fietla, Yoku. In these parts, <laughs> the efforts are very much That's not a very high bar. Even if the police would come in, no one would talk. I hate to admit it, but it's up to the two of us to crack this case. I'll let you go. Well, on with it. Wow, that's rude. 